The left can pull a racist, a racist narrative from thin air where it doesn't exist, but when it actually is in their face, they try to avoid it at all costs, especially when the perpetrator is a black person against another white person, which obviously happens more often in this country, given the fact that black Americans are the most murderous group in America by race. Here you have a man who was pointedly talking about white people all across social media, sometimes genocidal, by the way. Well, this is, you know, of course, Candace doing what she does, her being a, you know, just sad, pathetic sellout and public defender of old white America's feelings and her old you know, white fans on Fox News and other right wing media outlets have no clue that her own people don't claim her and would <laughs> gladly trade her for a moldy government cheese sandwich or whatever else just to get her out of here. And a lot of black people don't even know who she is. And the reason that a lot of black people don't know who she is is because she has no real impact within the black community because everything she says is nonsense. I have to say, obviously I'm elated that Kyle Rittenhouse is getting his life back and that he's not going to spend the rest of his life in prison. But a part of this feels bittersweet. I don't know if you guys feel the same way, like we're even having to go through this process that we're even at the end of our seats wondering, is this guy going to get his life back? Or are people going to be so fearful of mob justice and of people coming after their families, they're just going to vote the way that the mainstream media and legacy media media wants them to. It's it's sickening to me also because of his age. And I'm talking about when this actually took place. He was a 17 year old kid. His life is never going to be the same, right? You don't come out of this and, and as the same person that you were going into this. This is a kid that was smeared as a domestic terrorist and a white supremacist, not just by media members, but by the now sitting president of the United States. You know, then he was campaigning for the president of the United States. This is problematic. So for me right now, I'm going to be completely honest. I want vengeance. Like I, I want to make sure that Kyle, until he's 92 years old, is suing every single person from LeBron James to Joe Biden to the people that are in Congress, Ayanna Presley. I, I, this is not over for me. It doesn't feel like a win. They want to make sure that Kyle Rittenhouse does not become Zimmerman. Zimmerman is a loser, but he was a loser before. They want to make sure they protect Kyle Rittenhouse. That they provide cover and protection, that they provide jobs for him. He has multiple job offers from members of Congress. What qualification? Oh, he killed two people who were protesting in a Black Lives Matter demonstration. That is the only qualification he needs, according to the members of Congress, who have offered him a job. Think about how we have de evolved in our political conversation. Next question, are you really unvaccinated? Really? And then there is a shared tweet that says Candace Owens is lying to her followers about being vaccinated. And it shows me at the UFC and it's, I guess, planning for your event. Oh, the Madison Square Garden website, which says that you've had at least one dose of the COVID-19 vaccine prior to attending. I would, um, I would say to the people, first and foremost, I am obviously unvaccinated. You follow the story of me trying to get a COVID test in Aspen. And I only had to get a COVID test to show that it was negative because I was unvaccinated. So I didn't go through those jumps and hoops pretending to be vaccinated. I am not getting this vaccine ever, never gonna get it. I don't care if I'm on my deathbed and they say it can save you, I'm not gonna get it. I'm principally now opposed to it. And I do not understand why anybody who is healthy, able body and young would ever get this vaccine if you're not at risk of COVID. Um, again, personal choice, you can choose something differently. Regarding the UFC event, I would, um, I would instruct you to not to visit the Madison Square Garden website, but to visit uh, the New York uh, City Law website. You better understand that every time uh, the elites make laws for you, there is a way that they can get around the laws that they're making for you. Um, and there are carve outs in New York City of when you do not need to present a vaccine card. And fortunately, I fall under one of those carve outs. That's all I'll say about that. Uh, Candace Owens said she would not even take the shot if it could save her life, if she was on her deathbed. That should let you know this is not about health. This is not about good decisions. This is not about what actually works. This is about ideology. This is about drawing a line in the sand. Has nothing to do with taking care of yourself or those around you. She literally said she wouldn't even take the shot if it could save her life. All right, let you know something much more behind it.